Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris Rapeseed, Winnipeg Canola and Malaysian Palm Oil. Paris Rapeseed. 20 weeks ago, I detailed some key bearish pressures that the market had back then starting and well, started dealing with. The reason I repeat them now is because the levels have once again become significant. They were, and I quote, we have overhead a more diaphanous congestion band between 456 and three quarters to 468 and three quarters, a band that was relatively easier to navigate than the others mentioned, end of quote. Moving back now to more recent times, in early March, the market punched up from below through and over both the short medium moving average, currently 433 and three quarters, and the medium moving average, currently 434 and three quarters. Up through the key overhead congestions mentioned in my earlier commentaries between 438 to 445 and three quarters, through the gold highlighted flatlining long moving average, currently 447 even, and peaking and closing numerous times in the last three weeks over the significant 50% Fibonacci line, the May to July 2023 move of 456 and a half. Now I also added the following comments six weeks ago, and I quote, we have seen a turn towards a bullish with a move up and test of not only the upper time, but the green short medium moving average that is supposedly reinforcing it. This is not a major turn, not yet, but is supposedly not far away from being one. If we do turn higher properly, and the first key level is not far away at the February higher, 427 even, where we could see significant recovery higher. End of quote. Now I further added, the reason I said 427 even is that any move over that level would set up the opportunity for a possible double bottom over mid-January to date period. So watch what happens up at the green short medium moving average, the 427 level and the medium moving average. End of quote. Well, we did form a double bottom and achieved both the primary and secondary targets for this pattern. Three weeks ago, I asked the following, and I quote, the question now is what's next? Will these pattern targets and resistances sit within the larger, more recent November to mid-December 2023 congestion band that stretches from the June 2013 higher 438 even up to the 50% Fibonacci line of the May to July 2023 move up at 456 and a half? I said about this congestion band two weeks ago, so that's now five weeks ago. I said about this congestion band two weeks ago, and I quote, the action lower this year has potentially more ammunition, enough to take on a substantial but smaller overhead resistance area should it choose to, end of quote. Three weeks ago, I was awaiting indications on what may happen next, and by last week, it had become somewhat clearer. We had a mid-March to date rising wedge pattern currently 453 and a quarter to 463 and three quarters, highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. It is a small to medium pattern and I liked it. Then yesterday prices broke out on the downside of the pattern with a bearish opening black marabozo, halting at the next somewhat obvious support below, which is the gold highlighted long moving average, currently 447 even. Today prices have been testing below it and down to the next major support, the 50% absolute Fibonacci line. Uh, 445 and a half that's how important it is so whilst this may still be some seems a possible force break lower it would still be prudent to indicate some potentials below for such an ascending wedge pattern thus the primary target x would be in the 44 sorry 444 even zone for harder to reach target secondary target x1 down in the 426 and three quarter zone I should also point out a feature about ascending wedge patterns. 
that though it is allowed for markets to move up and out of such a pattern, something like eight out of 10 times, the breakout overall from rising wedge patterns is on the downside. So please bear this in mind. Winnipeg Canola. The market has well, slowed and eventually halted in its decline since July last year by the approach in February to the December 2020 low of 5.67 even. The haul ended up as a nice, neat horn bottom that rallied prices higher during late February and into March. Up through the May 2023 low at 6.11.10, the 2021 low at 6.29.60, the now flatlining short medium moving average currently 6.17.90 and towards the seeming end of the rally, the Mauve highlighted medium moving average, currently 6.33 and a half, and the June 2021 low at 6.55.90. These last two, especially the Mauve medium moving average, eroded the bullish incentive enough that the market halted and has rebuffed testing of the next overhead resistance. And that's the dark blue highlighted neckline, currently at 6.56.20 of the April to June 2023 reverse head and shoulders continuation pattern. I said as much five weeks ago, and I quote, it's time to look at further overhead resistances and the next ones are at the June 2021 low at 655.90 and the neckline of the April to June reverse head and shoulders continuation pattern. End of quote. However, to be completely honest, I tempered this at the time with the following, and I quote, I'm unsure about how effective these will, these will be. End of quote. And I should have not have worried, as between these two, the market was capped and prices have dipped lower since, initially down to the 2021 low, but now down to the flatlining short medium moving average. This whole action further supports the idea for the action since November last year to date to be a possible descending scallop pattern in construction. I'm not sure on this idea, but I would like to put it out there in case we see yet further declines. Finally, I would once again, I would only once again add the following as a postscript to what I've already said. It is something I said, first said 16 weeks ago, and I quote, I would add this final thought. I'm increasingly becoming interested in knowing if this contract is really an indicator, a leader, if you will, or the other oil seeds and veg oils may have to deal with. To this I added, end of quote, to this I added five weeks ago, and I quote, this also means on any recovery and move back up and not only on the way down, end of quote. I await to see what the market does at the May 2023 low at 611.10 and February's low in the 574.90 zone. Burst of Malaysia crude palm oil. Seven weeks ago, we had an exploitation of a breach turning into a proper break higher and the end of a venerable bearish shift pitchfork. So going back a few steps first, one of the significant patterns at one time or another, and one that is important right now, highlighted in bright red on my daily chart, is the neckline, currently at 42.35 of the September 2015 to November 2017 head and shoulders top. At one time or other, this had acted as a resistance, a support, and now as a resistance. During the middle to end of March, when the market had punched up over the bright red neckline and then stabilized over it, I gave my thoughts five weeks ago on what was going on, and I quote, so what now? Well, for this, I went to my standby on such occasions, the longer term monthly charts, and there was one clear standout level that needed to be watched, and that was the November 2022 high of 44.08. This is a key, key level on the top side because if it is broken, properly broken, then there are very significant potentials top side. Similarly, if it holds in that area, then there are significant potentials on the downside. So watch to see if the prices reach up to the 4408 area and then what prices do at that level. End of quote. Two weeks ago, prices punched up through and closed over 4408, moving higher, but this was limited as the December, the December 2021 low at 4467, the August 2022 high at 4484, and the approach to the June 2022 low overhead at 4559. All these erode the bullish incentive, but there was one level, one level, one specific level that stopped and turned prices lower. And that was the erosion by the early March 2008 
all-time high back then, a 4484. Last week I commented thus, and I quote, this has prompted me to ask whether the bull run up since late February is really a bullish hesitation, even a bull flag, or is it still after all a topping action? Now to be honest, the jury is still out on this one as we stay between the bright red neckline below and the March 2008 previous all time high, which is above. Well, we didn't stay between those two levels, that's the end of the quote. Well, we didn't stay between those two levels for too long, well, for as, as long as last Tuesday saw a gapping open below the bright red neckline. And we've dropped down ever since, down through an empty area apart from the flat lining short medium moving average, currently at 41.12, and down to now test the dark blue highlighted neckline currently 40 42 of the small September to November 2023 reverse head and shoulders pattern Fur below is the lesser Fibonacci level at 40 29 plus congestion at 39 86 but I suspect you'll find better support at the combination of the slowly rising medium moving average currently at 39 59 and the February 2011 high at 39 53 yet what we have left behind during March and April, looking in our rear view mirror, is an extraordinary and rare pattern. It is a V top, but with an extension. But the variety, rarity is that the extension came first. So you had the, the extension first before, rather than having the V top, rather than the traditional way, which is V top extension, it was extension and then V top. Can't remember the last time when I saw such a pattern. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.